the, the duo, but what would you like to start off with? Oh, I'll play a tune here off the old Rice Brothers album that I did, uh, Mark Johnson with the Rice Brothers called Clawgrass. That's where the title, in fact, that's where the sound, that's where the word got hammered out. Um, it's a term, either gonna, it's a breakdown of either bluegrass and claw hammer, clawgrass or blue hammer. <laughs> that's what it was going to be. And uh, we settled on the greater word. And um, and really all all this the style of music, uh, I never named it my style of music that, but the all the magazine articles, the cover stories, the DJs, everybody listened to the sound. They said it's so different. They started naming it, so it just got monikered like that. And ever since, and um, it, I, I was raised by Musical Wolves and continued to work with a Musical Wolf and Emery Lester. And uh, but yeah, we're going to do a tune here. It's an out. It's a song called "My Sweet Sarah." It's off that album, and it incorporates a lot of chords you won't find in standard bluegrass. <laughs> it is Mark Johnson and Emery Lester. Mark Johnson and Emery Lester live in the WLRN studio. That is a sound that I don't hear anywhere. I, I, I could go to bluegrass festivals and folk festivals, but that sound is is very unique to you two. Wow. 
Thank you. Well, that's great. Has anybody told you that before? We hear it a lot. Yeah, we hear it all the time. Cl- clawgrass, uh, in my definition, which it's a, it's a fun term. Uh, <laughs> obviously, it's just a fun, you know, put some words together term. But what it really is, is Mark Johnson's creativity as a musician using the claw hammer banjo as a medium to, to, to get it out. And uh, if Mark were to play the guitar, it would be just as beautiful a music. I 